YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. What do we have today? We've got the BAE Hawk, also known by those of you that say it wrong, the Bay Hawk, which is not correct. By the way, this ordinance comes off, but I think it looks sweet. It's actually, I think it might be a fuel tank, but either way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the landing gear before we even take off because they are impressive on this model. And yes, they are Oleo equipped with trailing link, excuse me, not Oleo, but trailing link and they work pretty good. So we're gonna take off this direction going back to our normal starting point. You guys might see a little construction in the backdrop. That's normal because there is construction in the backdrop. You wanna swing around and show them real quick. As you can see, we're getting ready with the pond. So we're gonna get ourselves in position and come right back. Stay tuned for more about the pond. Telemetry from the AR 8020T and stabilization from the reflex guys 24.8 volts displayed right here and also we're ready to rock and roll take off flaps deployed here we go gorgeous gear up oh that looks so dang good 50 percent throttle look at those lights fantastic flying plane guys this was one of my unexpected victories of RC. Full landing flaps on the way down the hill. Watch this thing, watch this thing. Listen to it scream. Takeoff flaps now, three and a half minutes of pure delight here. Get out of the takeoff flaps. We're just gonna go full landing flaps here for a slow pass. About 60% throttle, finding the perfect hole to stick it in. Right over the cherry tree. Nice low pass here. And then straight up, baby. Oh gosh, that's so gorgeous. So folks, if you've never experienced the Bay Hawk, also known as the BAE Hawk, you need to get one. It's extremely fun. Full throttle, high speed pass. Oh yes, did you hear the scream? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go over the top of the construction zone. We're gonna just jank it now. Love the clouds now, thank God. Clear blue skies, don't film all. Full throttle. So sweet, guys. Janking it here, a little bit of rudder to keep that nose where I want it. Full throttle. And then back out of the hole. Oh yeah! Coming down, dead stick. Guys, you gotta love the scream, don't you? Okay, full throttle on this pass. Here we go, right down the... <laughs> Next to the fox killing zone and the eagle killing zone. And we're janking it. A little cornhole action at the top. Gotta love this thing, guys. This is one of my most unexpected planes to love. I think we did it about a year ago. Mm -hmm. But it's one minute. One minute left on three. You gotta respect your timers on jets. Doing an underbelly pass. So you can see it. Look how good it looks. Okay, gear coming out. Take off flaps. We're gonna go way wide and we are kind of having weird wind conditions today. Okay, so we're just gonna bring it in. We're gonna fly it like we stole it. And we're just gonna try for a pass. I don't know if we're gonna get the landing. I'm kind of guessing we won't. Oh yeah, we're gonna way overshoot. Holy cow. Oh yes, got it. And I gotta say, woo! I hope I didn't break the nose. Let's go check. There is a long, I don't know if it's a pedo tube or an antenna on this particular aircraft. But what it is, it sticks way out on the nose and I hope I didn't break it because oh, yeah. this is one of the coolest features on this plane. Um, and if I did, I'd be super remiss. You didn't. I didn't, yes, look at it, it's above the nose. Awesome, so cool guys, look right there. I did dip the tip. Let's show my dirty tip. Ugh, mm. gross, it's kind of brown. It didn't break though. Well, anyway guys, That's there good. you have it. Awesome plane, gotta love this thing. Love the way it flies, love the way it performs. And I gotta say, absolutely phenomenal. Flight performance, absolutely phenomenal. Beauty and looks, 
and detailed cockpit, big mustache, which really makes the pilot. He does look a little bit angry. Yeah. But you know what? I love this plane. It's one of my favorites and it's so weird because I would have never thought I would have liked the BAE Hawk. But yet I have loved pretty much all of them. Mm -hmm. Give you one more shot of the gear. Simple, but effective. Mm -hmm. No gear door servos to deal with. Spring-loaded action, the way they should all be, if you can do it. You get onto the bigger planes, of course you're gonna need them. But I just love this because everything is just basic and simple. This gets pushed when the landing gear goes in. What's wrong with that, guys? Let's do more of that, folks. Yeah. Now, that being said, oh, he's way up there, Never mind. I was gonna say, we, it's the only channel where we stop to look at planes, but we do it here on Brian Phillips RC because we love aviation. We love sharing RC. And by the way, did you notice the light on the tip? Mm -hmm. I did too. Yes. And also nice. I gotta say the LEDs on this thing are bright. They are. They are day bright yep. and they are visible. Yep. And I just love the fact that we have actually beacons on the top and the bottom that are flashing. And yet we do not have flashing lights here, here, or here, right. which gives you three points of reference. Guess what? Pitch, yaw, and roll. If you can see where you're coming, you can see where you're going. That's what you need in RC. Now, I did admittedly kind of overshoot the runway a little bit there, but truthfully, this thing needs to slow down a little bit more. And we just lost the leaves on our trees within mm -hmm. about a week. Yep. And so that does make it a little bit more challenging for me when the wind happens to go from this vector to that vector, because it's going that way again now. Yeah. So I thought I was finaling the right direction and we misjudged that. So if I would have had the wind with me, it probably would have helped a little bit. Also, Take a look at that. Pretty cool, guys. We've only got two days of work on that so far. Yeah. Which is incredible. They managed to break all five yes. teeth off of their bucket in the one day. afternoon, by the end of the first afternoon. Yeah, they need to talk to their dentist about that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's- it's, it's at a new dentist over yes, the weekend. Yes, it's, it's a new dentist. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, the excavator bucket has teeth, rippers, and they lost all five. That was four thousand dollars. That was four thousand dollars they spent for those. Ouch. Yeah, the first one was gone within like fifteen minutes. I know. So I think there might have been an issue with the welder, but either way, still unfortunate. So that's going to be where the pond is. Not that's where they're putting all the trees. Yep. These trees you see in the foreground are on this side of the ditch, so and like most of these are still going to go next week. Most. most. We're trying to We're save try a handful save a if we can. Hopefully. But we'll they see. have to have certain grade requirements to meet the engineering specs that we yep. did on the pond. So anyway, guys, Bayhawk, amazing product. You will love it. It is fun. It is fast. It is furious. And it also slows down reasonably well. And you can do better than I did there. But the truth is, we didn't even break the tip, even though we dipped the tip. And by oh. the way, this is a screw-off style. So if you know that you're going to have problems dipping the tip, you can actually take this off, which is one of the best features See, it's screw-on yep. style. So I do like that. And I love the fact that this thing is super detailed. I love the fact that there's almost infinite space inside. Good class mechanism. Mm -hmm. And we have it marked for 4006S50C, which is what we're using. And then you can see we have an AR8020T sandwiched in next to the reflex, which comes stock, mm -hmm. okay? So stabilization is totally good on this. And there's also plenty of channels to do thrust reverse if yours would happen to have thrust reverse. However, ours was an earlier model and I don't believe we have thrust reverse. Is there a yellow wire on the ESC line? Oh, I thought you said no when you were plugging it in. Uh, no, I said that on the other plane. Nope, it's just red, white, and black. Well, so some of the new ones, some of the new Predator ESCs do have the thrust reverse feature, but you need to make sure you allow for an extra channel to control that on and off. Help me. You're catching your... That has to go into this little edge. Yep. See, like that. And also, if they would end up getting this without a reflex, then you would probably want to put in- AR-637. Yes, so you still get then, telemetry. But listen, if you do the 637, you're going to have enough. But if you do an 80, uh, 8360. Say it again. 8360T. 8360T, then that's going to get you into all the features you want and the optional thrust reverse. Mm -hmm. But just keep in mind, the reason you can get away with the six channel on some planes because they don't have retracts. 
Right. Okay, because you're gonna have flaps on this, but we're not gonna set up crawl on a plane like this. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, you could do it if you really wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. The flaps are effective, they help a lot, and we have some barn doors on there, okay? Yeah. Yes, this thing, you can come in and put it on its mains, but the thing is, I just kind of took it. I was like, I thought I was gonna do a pass, and uh, I didn't want to run out of time because the last yeah. time I pushed the limit on a battery, I lost yeah. a J11 on one branch by a missile rail, yep. which is unfortunate. It does happen when you push the limits. And so I acknowledge I am the pilot. I'm the one that's in charge. And so if I make a mistake, it's my fault. And when you can go all the way down here to the helipad, you'll have a little more room. To yeah, go. but then that's it's going to shoot off into I know, a ditch. Then you're going to like, we're right. going to have to have a... So maybe Whoa. we'll have them do this and then have them go up at grade like that. So it'll be like a ramp. Oh, that would be so cool. We always talk about an aircraft carrier. That might be worse. There's more birds. Holy cow. That's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So at the end of the day, the Bayhawk from FMS is one of our favorite jets. And it's funny because we almost never fly it. That's not because I get to choose everything that we fly. The reason we fly when we fly, especially on revisits, is because there's something in it for you. And you mm -hmm. want to know what's in it for you, camera crew? What is it? You might want to check Brian Phillips RC. That's right. Brian Phillips RC. Coupon codes, possibly. It's strangely or enough. Or links to sales or things. Strangely enough, it is the exact same spelling as my name. Brian. Is the right way. Is with an I. Mm -hmm. And then Phillips with two L's. Yeah. Okay. And then RC, like radio controlled. Yeah. Dot com. Or it's Royal Caribbean. Way. Don't confuse the people. I'm just saying, RC. It's just letters. It doesn't mean anything. Can we work with Royal Caribbean? We could review a cruise. We should do that. Hey, hold on. We got to tell you about one thing. We haven't what? decided to accept this, but we get offers to do reviews on stuff sometimes. And it was so hilarious the other day. Because I don't know if you remember this, but I had a bike crash and I hit my head on the concrete. I do like remember Like an that. idiot. Yeah. And so I can't smell anything still. It's been like five months. And uh, we got yeah. an offer to review some KFC, KFC scented deodorant. Yes. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? We totally have to do it just because it'd be hilarious. Guys, just remember, if you see me doing a leaf blower or weed whacker, it could we, be could, KFC <laughs> we could be doing KFC <laughs> deodorant. So I'm just saying, and there's crazy stuff that comes up all the time oh, like yeah. that. Uh, but Google just wants to keep you safe. So if you look in the links and you don't see a link to the Bay Hawk, also known as a BAE Hawk, then all you have to do is look no further than BrianPhillipsRC.com. That's our domain that we interestingly bought from Google. Yes. And we also bought the BPRC me Shortly. from Google as well, which yes. they say are unsafe because when you click on a BAE Hawk link, it takes you to a website where you can buy a BAE Hawk. And support Brian Phillips RC because those are our affiliates. Yeah. Okay. That's all we got for you there. This is awesome. You want one right now. Check it out in the links in the video description below. The NX10 is amazing for something like this. If you're doing the 82 or 8020T, yep. then you'll want to have this, but you could do it with an eight. Now, if you want an 8320. 8360. 8360T, I can never say it right. Then you're gonna need the NX10 to get into the top channels above the eight pluggable channel. So you can do master gain, and you can do AS3X on, AS3X off, and then safe, mm -hmm. okay? That is if you're ripping out the reflex. Otherwise, you can just lock it in a mode and go with less channels, mm -hmm. okay? All right, guys, that's all you get for today. Beautiful plane, you will literally love it. And also the NX10 has been working out great, but we just did a review video on the NX7E if you're trying to save a few bucks and you want a stop gap measure that can get you a couple years deep in the hobby might be a good option for you. Because as you know, here on Brian Phillips RC, we do long format content that's gonna give you start to finish progression. So if you're seeing this and you're like, but Brian, where did you set up the radio? It's called our Unbox Build Radio Setup video. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're with the maiden flights. Other times they're separated out. Most of the time we're separating them nowadays, but there was a period of time where we did them all in one big run, one big marathon video. So all you have to do is look at the playlists. Mm -hmm. The playlist should be populating the screen pretty quick here. It's going to be like the playlist for this plane, a similar offering. And then, of course, uh, subscribe or something like that. I It'll can't go, remember. And there will be a link right to the website yep. there at the end screens if this is the end of the video and the little things are mm -hmm. popping, up, popping up or the most recent video. That's right. That's which right. might be the NX7E if you're interested the, in that. that that's that right. Yep, be exactly. Some more time. But also, if you're looking for this on Brian Phillips RC because Google has taken all our links off, which we're fighting them right now on that, then all you have to do is go to Brian Phillips RC and you can sort by either the company we worked with to review a plane, whether it's Horizon or FMS or Banggood or you know RC Going or whoever it happens to mm -hmm. be. You can sort that way or you can sort by 
type. So yep. this would be like an EDF jet or a Warbird. And this they might one be, in be in both. Both. Yes. Yep. So we try to make it easy and you just scroll through and you can see the thumbnail of the video. That takes you to the playlist, but then we also have the buy it there. Um, it's it's a button, but it does the exact same thing as yep. if you click the link in our videos. And they're all, so if you're going to sort by type, it's alphabetical by the name of the plane, the manufacturer, not the manufacturer or anything. So right. the BAE Hawk is going to be close to the top. And it's not under Hawk, it's under B. BAE Hawk. Yes. Yeah, BAE Hawk. Yep. Because technically this is the Hawk and it's made by BAE. It's or it's, it's a British Air, Air, Force. Air Force. What's the E? British. Oh, I know the name of the plane <laughs> isn't the Bay Hawk. Don't ask me what. I don't I know, know British, the British Air Force. Air Force Empire? I don't know. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> I, I'm not from there. All I, I know, know is the plane is awesome. Yeah. So guys, we love airplanes. We love aviation. And we love that we have the world's best audience here on YouTube. So thank you for being there. If you're one of our Patreons, thanks for supporting us. If you want to mm -hmm. be a Patreon, we're up to like 42 people helping to support us. And with this recent fiasco with Google, some of you have upped your support. And we really appreciate that. That touches us in a special way. <laughs> and we appreciate that. Right? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> so, thank you for touching us. Uh, also, if you want to support us in other ways, you can support us on PayPal for one-time donations. But just remember, for friends and family, it's better than support because support, they take a pretty big cut. And then also, if you want to support us and give YouTube more money, then you can do YouTube members mm -hmm. and YouTube super thanks. Super thanks. Yep, and they'll keep their cut. So anyway, thanks, because Google's hurting for cash, in case you were wondering. Um, also... That's all I'm going to say about that for today. We're just going to try to taper off of it until we hear back from them, which will probably be never and probably just be a bunch of links that they're shutting off. So if you see a link that looks like out of place, it's because they blocked our link. Or if there's random, if there's random gaps, if there's stuff and yeah. then like. Yeah, you like you won't see it. it we'll know it's there, yeah, but, you, but won't. you won't see it if you can't. So find it's like because it. you're not a big boy or girl. You can't figure out if something is dangerous. You know, you're. That's okay. how much Google thinks. I'm sorry. Camera crew is trying to shut me down again, <laughs> as usual. But that's okay. I need to be shut down. This is an awesome plane, and I think it you is. guys will get it, and you'll love it. Check for coupon oh! codes or links to sell. And I said this earlier, and I forgot to complete my thought. If you're looking for the Unbox Build radio set, if you're oh. brand new to the hobby or you're coming back to the hobby, and you're like, I want to start here, all you have to do is go to the playlist, and it should be the first video on the playlist, and you can just work through the digression. And you can there. see mm -hmm. whatever we did for our maiden flights, which is usually yeah. more than one flight. You yeah. kind of see it. maybe. And we kind of work through flap modes and yeah. things like that, little adjustments. Different weather condition, probably. Exactly, because it's usually done in duress on our first like lights 14 because, below zero yeah right yeah. like that so also you can look in there and you can get the answers to your questions on what we use for batteries what we use for receivers mm -hmm. and if you really want to get an answer and you you like don't want to watch a two-hour video just kind of scroll to the end and you can see kind of the radio setup part happens at the end the cg happens at the end it's just the way you would build it we go from in the box to in the air and that's what we do and Google doesn't understand that, but you guys do, and we appreciate you knowing that. Because at the end of the day, we serve you, our wonderful audience, and not FMS, not Horizon, not Spectrum, not Banggood, none of those people. We support you, and they support our relationship, which is pretty cool. And we've told them that from the beginning, and they have listened, mm -hmm. unless they don't trust us to keep the mouth shut about bad things. And there's a few big companies that we wonder about, because we've said, why don't you work with us? Are you afraid we're going to be too truthful for, with our audience? You're being attacked by fuzzies. And the answer is, your guess is as good as mine. Right. Well, it's not safe. I'm just going to say, it ain't rocket science here, guys. If you got something to hide, you won't work with a person like me. It's truth. So anyway, yep. Motion, if you're listening, get a hold of us. We already know. We already know. You know that we know that you know. But our audience needs to know because they'd really like to compare and contrast this to the free wing offerings and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because FMS does a great job, but here's the thing. I can't answer the answer to your questions, people. I just don't know, because they won't work with us. I don't know why. I think we've been around for a while. It's been a decade, for God's sake. Yeah. We're not going anywhere, unless Google cancels us. We'll just go somewhere else. We're doing that anyway. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. There's so much more coming from Brian Phillips RC on YouTube and other platforms also. We're just not going to say the names of the other platforms. You can figure it out. It's not very hard. Come back for more.